All right, welcome back, everybody. It's time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. And today's theme is the 80s, so we need to get into the mood. We're feeling totally tubular, man. And Dr. Lori, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have shoulder pads, although they are back. So are Molly. They are back. So we're all feeling the vibe a little bit. I think it's trying to inch its way closer to us. This is fun, though. The 80s was my decade, guys. Yeah. And I'll date myself. So college was the 80s for me. And I'll tell you what, I have some I have some clothes with the shoulder pads still in the closet. I'm sure of it. Well, they're back. <laughs> so keep them. Keep them and pull yeah. them out, Dr. Lori. Um, so let's get to our first item. It's a frame needlepoint sent in by Leslie. Yeah, so this these are very, very popular now. This one from, of course, the 1980s. Uh, this is about 12 by 16 and needlepoint picture, pictures and crafts that you could put into frames and hang on the wall were very desirable. This is of the Kentucky Derby. You probably can see the abstracted nature of the horses and the jockeys. Um, it's a nice piece. It's in good condition and it's still within its frame. What do you think it's worth? Well, is this something that someone just did as a, a craft yes. or a hobby? So it's not exactly. a famous artist or anything like that, right? Exactly. I think it's just so somebody could have been, you know, anybody in the 80s who liked to do needlepoint and then they put it into a frame. The frame does look like it's one of those Nielsen frames, which were very popular in the 70s and 80s. Um, those, those metal frames, it does look like they took it to their favorite store and got it, got it framed. I think it's interesting that they're back. Like this is actually yeah. something that people want to collect. It's become a trend. That's exactly true. So it could be the needlepoint, it could be embroidery or cruel, it could be the rug hooking, as long as it's in a frame. A lot of people like the textural nature of it, um, as opposed to just oil on canvas or something else flat on the wall. It's interesting. Okay. I said $45. I said $45. Get out of town. How much is it worth, well, Dr. I have I have to tell you, you guys are getting very good at this because it's worth $45. Wow! <laughs> well, I so love it when it works out like that. We each got a point. I know. All right, next up we have, what is it, a Madonna, Madonna co vinyl cover? Yeah, this oh. is the Madonna, the record, of course, Like a Virgin, released in November of 1984. The second studio album from Madonna is number one in the, in the United States. It sold 10 million copies. And songs like Material Girl and Dress You Up in My Love were some of the hits off this very popular album. Kind of set the stage for Madonna going forward. So is the album in the cover or is it just the yes. cover? Okay. The album is in the cover. So, you, so it's the cover as well as the album. It's the whole thing. It is not in its original cellophane. And I will say, I danced to this album at a lot of parties at the University of Michigan. I, was it fun? <laughs> Was it the best time oh ever? Oh my God, was it fun. Oh, it was, was so just, much fun. I okay. paid 10 million to go back. <laughs> it was mm. great. All right, so okay. we know that vinyl is hot, but I just don't yes, know. Vinyl's hot. It's hard, this is kind of hard. This uh, is kind of hard. Okay, I don't know. I said $100. See, I didn't go that high, I said $40. In the original, in the original cellophane cover, Heather would be right at 100, it's worth 25 today because the cellophane's off of it oh. and it's been used. Now, okay. is this one of those things like the anniversary of that album, even without the cellophane, will it increase in value? Yes. So next year it will go up in value. That's exactly right. Okay. Yep. All right. So Leah because should hold on to it. The anniversary of its release. Okay. Okay. All right. 80, and November of '84 to 2024. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about our last yeah. item, which I can't find it's here. It's a moss print. It's a sent moss in by print. Liz. So we went so we went from the material girl to images of the Amish. So basically, P. Buckley Moss, very well known for her landscapes of Amish farms and such, particularly Lancaster, Pennsylvania, in that neck of the woods. She also um, she also creates these works of art. This one signed from the late 1980s. It's 16 by 20 inches. It's mixed media, it's watercolor with gouache, which is sort of like an oil paint and gouache. Um, this particular piece is also inscribed, so probably to someone close to the artist, signed, numbered, signed, dated, and inscribed. So that's a big deal when it comes to value, mm -hmm. when you have all those other elements that directly relate to the artist. A nice image, of course, of a landscape in the artist's characteristic style from the 80s. And no frame on this. 
No frame on that. I did not see a frame. The photo was sent to me without a frame. Okay. Oh, I fear I'm going too low, but I don't know. I said 550. Oh, wow. <laughs> I said 150. <laughs> Good girl, Heather. Five hundred dollars for the oh, original Huxley Moss. All right, what All right. does that mean? We tied. We tied. But that's okay. No uh, winners. Wow. You know what? No. No losers. We're all winners. Oh. That's what we've learned. We got to spend winners. time with you, Dr. And Lori. Material girls, we are too. <laughs> All right, we want to thank Dr. Lori and thank you at home for sending us your pictures. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Just email us at ptl at kdka.com. Maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori. I like our 1980s PTL I do too. Like logo I do too. there.